Hi everyone, it's Matt from Mark Roberts Motion Control, presenting another Flare 7 tutorial, this time focusing on the setup of output triggers. Connecting a triggers box into the Flare system gives you the power to activate various other pieces of equipment throughout your shoot, ranging from simple solenoids to flamethrowers. These triggers can be controlled to change state during the move at exact and repeatable times with the reliability you need for time critical sequences. The move can be shot forwards, backwards, or even a part run, and the triggers will still occur at the frames you specify. There is a switch in the timeline control panel which allows you to turn all the output triggers on or off. This is especially useful when you are rehearsing a move and do not want the triggers to activate. Go to Setups, Output Triggers to open the Output Triggers window. On the left you will find a list of output triggers, and on the right is where you specify which frame counts it turns on and off. Each trigger can be individually named as you see fit. By default, a trigger will not be functional when you run the move, so select the Activate checkbox to activate it. Testing a trigger is as simple as pressing and releasing the test button. If you would like the output to stay on after releasing the mouse, change the test dropdown to continuous. The outputs will then stay high until you press the test button again. To set what frame counts the trigger goes on and off, enter any two of the on frame, off frame or duration boxes. A blank row at the end will be added to allow you to create additional trigger frames as you see fit. Individual trigger rows can be removed, or all can be cleared together. Once you are done making changes, press the apply button. Triggers may be caused to occur before the actual move by programming in a negative frame count for the trigger. When the shoot button is pressed, the system will go into a pre-roll state and the trigger will fire at the appropriate time before the move. When a move is run backwards, the triggers before the start will occur after the system has run back to the beginning. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> 